All right, here we go. Okay, just got back from a trip. A couple of days, nothing died. Things were wilty, but nothing died. So, hi, my puppy is right here. You can see her. You can see her snout. She's trying to get into it. Yes, she loves this. She wants to be a she wants to be a YouTube star. Make her a YouTube star. You don't hate dogs, do you? Of course you don't. But anyway, got back. Stuff was just starting to wilt. Uh, it's been over 100 degrees here. It was 94 where I was with like 80% humidity. So I was wilting too. But we're back. Everything just got watered. I harvested some stuff. Okra's banging. Um, sprayed some ants because I hate them. Uh, the acorn squash are doing really good. Almost every single pepper plant has pods. Even small ones, but pods. The ch uh, I almost said chiropita. I don't have a chiropita. The chiltepin has little baby pearls. So we're doing good. Hi, big man. You're doing great. You're a star. Uh, just smile and wave. Smile and wave. Um, but anyway, I pulled one fully ripe. This is one I have no experience with. I've never seen it before. I got it as a live plant from chiliplanet.com or yes, chiliplanet.com or chiliplants.com. Damn, mm. guys, it's hot. Anyway, uh, I got it from them. It sounded interesting. It looks interesting. And I'm very, very excited to try this. I think it's labeled under either a sweet or mild heat variety but without further ado and by the way this is one of the first so i've got like three more ripening on it and this is a prolific plant this is up there with cayenne's ties and uh thunder mountain longhorn cayenne all those guys uh i think i said cayenne twice but a spaghetti albino which i don't know why it's called albino but regardless it's just a long i think it's a long cayenne type but hopefully this is a sweet pepper. Uh, I don't mind cayennes. They have that lovely, lovely earthiness to them. And I think this is going to be a really good flavor. And I really, really think it'll be a great dried and powdered pepper or something to throw into like soups and stuff. But we're about to see. I'll cut into it a little bit. We'll see how seedy. Um, it feels really seedy. I might have to scrape some out. But I mean, that feels full. But it also has like a really, really nice... Um, feel to it it's not too soft it's kind of drying down here but all this type does they kind of start losing water on the vine pretty quick vine plant but here we go let's scooch some seeds over that i happen to have let's not pry into that too much but what i'll do oh lord um this is gonna be an interesting cut got the lovely chopmeister and i'm gonna kind of just medical slice into this scalpel all right there we go there we go it's going successful so far okay okay surgical procedure ah oh, that cut got weird oh no oh no nurse i need a sponge i'm sweating there we go oh there are a ton of seeds in this bed oh my goodness Okay, so it's just bleeding seeds. Oh my gosh. Oh, that smells like all the pepper flavor. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to get away with taking the seeds out on this one. I'm just going to eat it. But, okay, so it is very thin-walled, very seedy. I mean, I'm just pulling them out like crazy. Um, kind of has a green pepper smell, but it has a very nice pepper smell to it, like a very red pepper smell too. Okay, so let's see if I can get this all in one go. Hold on, there's a little black part here. And I'll eat a lot of things, but nay nay. Nay nay, whatever that is. Ew. Ew. Makes me bad season. I don't know. Ew. Ew. Cool, I made sure I hit record, because for some reason I just was like, oh no, and there's a few, it'll be fine. Oh yeah. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger, guys. Just bite it. Here we go. Juicy, sweet, a little bit of heat right off the bat. Hmm. 
the seeds are less of a problem than you'd think. Oh, that's very fruity. Okay, so so far it's about mildly as hot as a, uh, what would you call it, um, <clears throat> a mildly hot jalapeno. No, but that's very fruity. It's almost sugary for uh, as much flavor it has. It's kind of, it's, <clears throat> it's kind of watery, but it does have that fr nice fruity flavor. Um, this is like a more improved version of a cayenne to me. I could definitely see throwing that in some ramen or a nice soup for a little bit of heat. Like a chicken noodle soup with that would be absolutely delightful. It's a tongue heat. It's kind of stingy. It is kind of like just pepper powder. Um, it's very straightforward. Mmm. I would use that in everything. Like, that's a powder. That's a sauce. That's just throwing it raw in something. That's a really nice pepper. Yeah. Okay, so again, that's the spaghetti albino. That one's really, really good. Now it is full tongue. It is not just the top of my tongue. It is kind of all the way around. It is attacking the membrane just a smidge. Really, yeah, there's nothing. It's kind of like store-bought jalapeno. I can swallow. I can do stuff. I'm not, I'm not salivating a whole lot. I can talk just fine. Man, that was really good. Oh, I'm excited for more of those. Okay, and by the way, again, it is a prolific plant. I guarantee you I have 10, 15 pods on there just right now. And they're all about that same size. They're probably about like a quarter to three eighths inch wide at the widest point. Um, they feel good. It's putting out, it flowers really easily. It's growing pretty tall. I think it's around two foot tall right now. Kinda bushy. It's just a really good pepper. Um, yeah. I would have no problems using that in the in the kitchen or just eating them. That's a really good one. Not because it's hot, to be honest with you. I just really wanted to drink a beer. It's been a very hot day. No, that is, honestly, for my season, that's one of the better peppers I've had right now. Probably something else I'll break out is my Blushing Beauty. It's uh, Small Bells. And they go from kind of being like a Hungarian wax yellow to they're kind of being a purpley red blush right now. So I may pick one of those and see what that tastes like. I think that's a, a, a sweet bell. I don't think there are many hot bells like the Dolma or a few others. Bell shaped, not bell peppers. I get yelled at for that. But that's how my garden's going and I love doing this update. Again, the spaghetti albino. I believe you can find seeds for that over at uh, chiliplants.com. I'll try and find it and share that in the description. If I can't, they had the live plants. You can go and search over there, chiliplants.com. Uh, guys, let's grow awesome.